A.J. Brown, the gift to Megan. Actually, he's going to keep it himself and run down the right sideline. What a fake it. Look at the youngsters showing some wheels. Brown is gone. We're talking to Randy Edsel, head coach of the University of Maryland. You have a quarterback. It's set. C.J. Brown, talk about the way he's stepping up this year and what you need him to do this year to be even better. Well, you know, what we need uh, C.J. to do is just go out and uh, play the way he's capable of playing. I, I think, you know, the one thing is, uh, you know, people have criticized him for throwing, but, you know, he can throw the football. He's a, he's a good passer. Uh, and what we need to do is for have, have him to understand that when things break down, and he needs to get out of the pot, go and run because he's got tremendous speed, he's got tremendous athleticism. So the one thing that we've worked with him on is, hey, as you get back there, you drop back, and, and if you don't see it you know, right away, go ahead and take off because that's gonna put a little bit more pressure on the defense and now you know, they might have to commit another guy to spy him or whatever now, which is opening up the passing game. And then what he's just got to do is utilize all the weapons that he's going to have as his disposable and, uh, you know, and just take the ball where it's supposed to go. Tough to defend a quarterback that can take an 80-yard run down the, down the end zone, for sure. Exactly. Yeah, defensive side of the ball, you all, you're also making changes to a 3-4. Joe Volano causes so much problems right in front, right in the middle, but now you're moving him a little bit. What impact does that have on the defense? Well, it's, it's all in a, in a situation where, you know, we can put Joe in the most advantageous situation to help us make plays. So, you know, as we watch film, you know, we can create a matchup that we think is more advantageous for us. And, and Joe's such a smart player and understands, uh, you know, what offenses are trying to do uh, that, you know, we can play him at, the, at the, the end spot. We can play him at nose guard. You know, we can play him at the other end. You know, there's a lot of things we can do, and it's great to have a player like that who has that kind of versatility and that kind of intelligence, you know, to be able to pick up all those things that, uh, that we want to be able to do. And, you know, Joe is just a, is a great young man to be around. He's got such a high motor. He plays with such great intensity. Uh, you know, he's a great, um, you know, great role model, you know, in terms of showing our younger kids, you know, how hard and how dedicated you have to be to be able to be successful at this level. Your defense was plagued with a lot of injuries last year. You had to play a lot of young guys this year. You get Kenny Tate back. How big of an impact is he going to have, do you think, on your defense? Well, I think Kenny, Kenny's one of those guys, you know, that when you get around him, he's, he's uh, is as intelligent of a defensive football player that I've been around. And having coached in the NFL, you know, I'm even Same talking at that level defense. too, you know, because, I mean, you can tell him one thing and he, he gets it. And, you know, we're going to play him at that Sam outside linebacker. And, uh, you know, now you've got the ability there where you can bring him, you can drop him. He's so versatile, you can put him in as a pass rusher. He gives you some added dimension that you didn't have. Last year, we got hit with just, you know, so many injuries. We had more missed starts than anybody in the country, and most especially defensively. So, you know, we got 10 starters returning, and so we had to play a lot of younger guys, and, you know, which wasn't good for us a year ago. But now with those snaps that those guys got, you know, it's going to only aid us and make us better, you know, this year. Coach, thank you. My pleasure.